Hello everybody and welcome back to RimWorld Last Stand. Now, uh, considering how badly the previous episode went, this one should hopefully be a bit better. As you can see, we're kind of wrecked right now. We have toxic fallout everywhere, which means we really need to get some roofs put up. I have gone ahead and set up a safe zone. We've got roof areas set up everywhere, as well as a fallout safe zone for everybody to hang out in. Uh, that should be all the roofed areas, I believe. Is that, is it right? Ah, I didn't get this uh, this stretch here, but there we go. That's, that's pretty much all the roofed areas. The humans have been confined to this region. The androids don't need to be, so that's kind of great. Uh, we should probably also bring this into the fold. Uh, there's a psychic soothe, huh? That's good. Uh, we also had a large poison ship drop in the end of the previous episode, and we recruited Leviathan here, um, who I'm assuming was supposed to be Leviathan, but uh, Leviathan's what I've got, so I'm going to pronounce that a bit oo-woo. Um, excuse me. <laughs> um, I've set up his, uh, what do you call them? his priorities. He was supposed to be a shooter, but we got a bit bamboozled, and we got a very good constructor and craftsman. So, I mean, I'll take it, right? I don't think he's got any ability, no, or passion in fighting whatsoever. Uh, so I guess we can do the classic and give him an anti-mech rifle because, you know, we, we don't play by the rules. In fact, you know what, go away and uh, force wear that marine helmet too. Keep you alive, son. Okay, tradition dictates. All right, so he's gonna go ahead and uh, roof off all of this stuff. Might take a minute to roof off up here because we do still actually need to uh, cut down a lot of these trees. Uh, but for now, that is a good start. Uh, the humans are all sleeping. By the time they wake up, it should be all right. Uh, I do need to get somebody here on permanent cleaning. And I can't decide who. I'm thinking Spartan C, because we're kind of okay for research for a bit. So, yeah, I think, buddy, that's that's your new job. Is uh, after construction, you're going to move down to cleaning. Uh, you're actually constructing as a three, but you've gotten, you've gotten so good at it now. I'm going to give you a one on that, because this is very much... You know what, everybody, just number one construction. Uh, repairs and and uh, everything else are definitely a priority. Uh, plant cutting is so slow if they're not good at it. Jeez. Yeah, but having the androids is a godsend because it means that toxic fallout and things really don't affect us as much. Uh, the heat wave, though, is going to very much affect us. Uh, I think we have good enough equipment just across the board that it's not going to kill anybody. But people like Kaylina here, yeah, they are going to start feeling it. So I've turned off all of my, yeah, uh, what do you call these things? Uh, heaters, but we do actually need to start cooling down the base slightly. So I'll stick this just over there. I can just cool down things just a little bit. Okay, nicely. Nice, nice, nice. Now, we actually got kind of screwed over in the previous episode. We had a... Uh, oh, Oathbloom's character trader. Nice. We had a large raid attack, um, and we had two surprise raids. So, um, yeah, the game's definitely scaling up now. And as you can see, we are starting to crumble a little bit. Uh... Mm. Yeah, the series is a couple episodes short, three episodes in fact, shorter than it should have been because of all my misclicks. But hey, what are you gonna do? Uh, I've got these little rows of plant vegetation still going in there, which is kind of funny. Um, my animals should probably be confined. Although they're doing alright. Oh, poor, poor Seymour, he got busted. Alright, that is a bulk goods trader, so let's go buy their... Um, what's that stuff called? Steel. That's the word, yes. I, uh, I haven't had my, my midnight coffee yet. This is all be all being recorded after work, which is never a good idea, guys. Don't do it. Yes, yeah, so that's being brought in. Terry Crusade's unhealthy, yada yada. Uh, okay, what are we buying? What are we buying? We could get some pemmican. Probably not a terrible idea. We do have a seriously large reserve of corn, so we should be okay. Um, sell off all those furs. Sell off the drugs. I don't want people binging on them. Uh, we can clear out this clothing, actually, as well. Uh, you'll sell helmets. What does m Humming Mid-Tech give us? Humming Mid-Tech gives us 6% psychic sensitivity? Nah. Don't really need that. Wooden plate armor. Actually, the flak jacket would be quite nice, wouldn't it? Um, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Oh, we could actually get some herbal meds. Okay, now, you don't sell steel. No, you're a tribal trader, so you're only going to sell wood. Uh, we could get some yaks. They've only got male ones. I would, If it was a breeding pair, I might consider it. But no, for two males, I'm not going to spend the money. Okay, nice. Things are getting repaired. Brilliant. Now, we need someone else who's dedicated to perpetual hauling. Maybe... Yeah, because Stan can do it. Actually, well, as an android, he's kind of shit at it, so no. Um, who's going to be a good continuous hauler? Dr. Grimm. After you're done handling and building, you go haul, buddy. 
All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wardening can take priority. That's fine. Okay, but yeah, the repairs are getting done. This is this is wonderful. Oh man, it's like a breath of fresh air. Do you know how long it has been since we last had this? Okay, kaylina has gone a bit mad. She's probably going to fight somebody who comes in here in a sec. There we go. She's fighting. I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. Ioko, Iochoka, 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 Iochoka. There we go. That's that's close enough. Oh, she's trying to get out. Can't have that. Uh, Dr. Grimm. Come here. Actually, you're, I don't want you breaking any more than you already are. Uh, uh, Scrivitz, come here. Get out your battle axe. And just, just pay her a little... Ha oh, get out the hell out the way. Get the hell out the way. Get the hell out the way. Out the way. Oh, my God. The turrets. Switch to your combat rifle. There we go. Capture. Oh, now we have to repair that. Thanks for the help. Here we go. Capture again. Okay, good stuff. Uh, someone should move over there pretty soon. Oh, the walls are being repaired. This is, it's a breath of fresh air, I tell you. <laughs> One unexpected side effect, of course, of having the roof here is that it's going to constantly get bashed up by the uh, supply drops that we have. But I mean, hey, that's a, it's a pretty minor price to pay, I suppose. Uh, we do actually need the equipment here. Uh, we do rather need the roofs here just to keep people safe. Bolt goods trader, four hours to the next raid, bringing you guys back in here. Let's go ahead and call the man up, Let's see if we can get some steel out of all this, because, uh, yeah, you know. We are going to be doing some pretty serious building as we go along. There we go. Another 702 steel, 638 silver in stock. We're going to need to make that up somehow. Feeling pretty confident that we can actually sell off a lot of our wood. Uh, that'll net us another 500. Uh, let's go ahead and sell all the gold. That almost breaks us even. And in fact, actually, um, we can actually change some turrets over to these to just reduce our steel demand a little bit. But I'm pretty sure... I'm going to keep all the advanced components. We can make androids out of them at a certain point. Ooh! A breeding pair of cows would be amazing. We can't really sustain it yet. I need to see what these raids are going to be like just before I need these tremendous raids, that is, before I prioritize things like that too much. So let's go ahead and turn some of our steel into silver and then turn that silver into, or gold into silver and that silver into steel. Uh, that's a pretty good idea. That'll reduce our wealth somewhat. Let's go have a look at, uh, we need to look at our history, graph of wealth total. Uh, we should see it kick down relatively soon. Um, you can see how things just kind of plummet. Uh, what broke over there? Items? Yeah, that must have been a big sale, big sale. It peaks after these raids and then it crashes as we sell them. Uh, it's just sort of like a constant trend. And as you can see, it's been trending upwards, so the raid strength has been trending upwards. But I'm not entirely convinced that the uh, Wave Survival mod uses the vanilla raid size calculation, because I I'm pretty sure it's got more to do with the wave number that you're on, uh, more than it's got to do with the uh, the amount of wealth alone. I think it might be a combination of both. And if it is, that's actually, in my opinion, quite a clever system. So I I'm all for it. Okay, how are we doing for power? Actually, we do need to turn one of these back on. So Spartan C, could you flick that switch? Thank you. Let's just let that all kick in. You should kick on. And we have a surplus. Excellent. Okay, so we are actually taxing this more than it can withstand. But what the heat wave's going, we really do need these uh, coolers running. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, we have a raid. Was that a tremendous raid or just a raid? Uh, the tremendous raid might have been, uh, yeah, like a wave thirty kind of thing. But because this is pretty intense, and ooh, we could actually really use that against them. Everybody, get inside except Spartan C. Uh, you come out here. Maybe we can shoot those mechs before... Oh, I don't know. It's going to be close. What's the range? No, no, he hasn't got the range. Okay, pull back, pull back, pull back. We're going to have to just fight these old school. Just going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. I was going to get them to fight the mechs, but we might just have to hold off a little bit on that. Look, while the toxic fallout is happening, it's not as though we can farm anyway, so... Uh, I actually kind of want to pull them away from this section because this wall is incredibly weak. Doctor, could you... Uh, you're actually on call. Uh, on call, as it were. You can go ahead and force repair that spot and see pull over here and just assist with the firing down this way. Because thank you are actually getting shot. Let's pull you back slightly behind hardcover. Get you a better angle. There we go. Let's just keep these walls functional. That's what I want to see. There we go. Uh, bruised but not dying. Okay, only a single hit. He was actually already injured. Uh, nasty stab to the left leg there on Scrivids, but looks like we'll be able to survive all of this. 
Uh, actually, screw it. I'm gonna pull you back off the line, man. You are getting blasted. Yeah, come, pull up into the hospital, and I'm gonna get you to rest until healed. Uh, 14 medicine remaining. We do actually want to start rationing that slightly, which reminds me, Leviathan, you need to go down to herbal. Scrivage, you on max? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Everybody's on. Everybody's on the good stuff. Cool. Uh, Spartan C, you just got a nasty hit there. Is there anything I should worry about? Uh, 10 damage to the left leg. He'll survive. You got a bit more health than the regular humans there, don't you? Yeah, yeah, they'd only have, they only have 30 on the wings. Nice. Nice. Okay. Walls being repaired. Lovely. Tribals, nothing nothing really dangerous there. Uh, we just got to be a bit more on point next time. I, I'm go I've, got a, I've got a sort of a strategy. Uh, we've had one other ship crash. It was during one of the episodes I didn't record. But uh, a little strategy I have is to actually uh, activate these sort of... At about zero hours, one hours left, you kind of send somebody out here just to stand here, right on the maximum edge of their range, shoot the ship, um, and then, oh, sorry, get them to stand there, see where the raid spawns. Like, if it's up here, don't do it. But if it's, you know, nearby, uh, shoot the ship and then retreat back into the walls because the mechs will pop out, they'll chase you, and then the two f um, forces will ideally meet up and fight in the middle somewhere. Uh, that is the dream, anyway. So, yeah. Uh, okay, we are actually getting repairs here. Oh, you got shot by the damn turrets. Friendly fire, even. Uh, Spot and see, I'm going to continue to force you to clean here. There we go. Yeah, let's just get all this patched up. Man, that was where... Uh, oh, jeez, who was it? Ortiz died recently. Shot straight through the torso right there. Oh, nothing... I'll never forget... Oh, hey, the, I was about to say Toxic Fallout's cleaned up, but it, that's not true. It hasn't. You guys don't get affected by Toxic Fallout, right? No, no. Androids are immune to it. Just as we'd hoped. Okay, these mass graves are actually all rather macabrely full. Um, yeah, we need to get some of these corpses out of our fields. Can you haul mold the shaman out of there, please? Oh, and we really need to replace this wall. Yeah, maybe I should get that auto replace mod after all. Oof. Oh well. It's fine, it is what it is. The repairs are finally getting done. Oh, this wall is so clean and pristine. Yes! It's the good stuff. Uh, visitors have arrived. Toxic fallout and the temperature. Uh, send them away for now. I think let's just not risk them getting any health conditions while they come in. Uh, if we get another supply drop raid, I'm going to be real salty. Because like they're supposed to be super rare. And we got hit with a double set in the previous episode. Which, uh, it did a lot of damage. That's why our buildings here were so damaged. We, got shot we nearly lost this thing. It was down to like 18% health. Uh, days for the wires and eh. Eh, when isn't he in a daze? Also, we should continue wall uh, flooring off our area. I missed a few spots in my previous run. Right over there. Very nice. And our, our elephant has been kindly hauling stuff for us. A mad jester up here. How are you doing for a toxic buildup, man? Miner, I'm going to get you into the fallout zone, both my animals. Just just stay safe, you two. Uh, yeah, I think Seymour here, is, is he finally healed? He is. But having the tail knocked off how much is that? 5% slowdown? Yeah, I mean, fair enough. Doggies use them to balance, so that would make sense. Oh, I put down the wrong thing. That should be limestone flagstone, not uh, not tile. My mistake. There we go. Do it that way, just so it's a bit more uniform. Okay, nice. Uh, now, if you're wondering what I'm doing with these empty spaces, um, they're really useful for growing things like hay grass, especially if you've got um, grazing animals or trees, maybe. Uh, I'm not entirely sure yet what I'm going to grow here, but I like to have a bit of, like, natural dirt, if it makes any sense. Uh, just sort of lying around. And then, uh, I'm going to let the repairs finish before I put down any more, but I do also want to put down the fire break up here. Uh, maybe let's just throw it down over the turrets and the areas nearby, so that we don't waste the trips. Just like there. Ah, oh, you know what, screw it, let's just do the whole thing. Okay, there we go. Put it down. I know I'm not breaking all my own rules, but whatever. Just put this all down, throw that over there, and there we go. That shouldn't take them too long. Uh, this doesn't have to be quite so overkill. That should be fine. There we go. Okay, for a path. And, you know, having captured this uh, northern region here, we probably should put it to good use. Uh, let's, in fact, go ahead and throw down a grow zone um, over all of it. I don't really need more room right now, like, for, like, room room. So, I think just a grow zone will do fine. And we're going to put down basically just some hay grass. Alright, the heat wave's ended, so we can go ahead and turn off those coolers, which will save us quite a bit of power, and that means we can actually go ahead and turn off this as well, which will be pretty great. 
because uh, that, that brings us, you know, basically right back to uh, just running only on renewable geothermal power, which is wonderful. Like, it's, it's absolutely wonderful, because if we ever... Look, we weren't going to run out of wood, really, not on this map, not with the supply drops, but it can always happen. All right, so 11 hours to the next raid, but we have an opportunity here. A glass world revivalist. A glass world must be a world that's been glassed, I guess. He is being chased. He's nine years old, but there's no time to collect more information. We'll have to find three elite mercenaries and four mercenary gunners, both of which have a chance to spawn with uh, doomsday rocket launchers, by the way. A town councilman, also. Town guards and a villager. I'm gonna ignore you, Anderson. My apologies, but I think we might actually lose people. We might lose more people than regaining there, and it is very much a numbers game at this point. So why don't you go, actually why don't you just don't go ahead and haul in all of this nonsense. Just rusting out there in the, in the wilds. Doesn't do anybody any good. Alright, we are actually getting these outer walls repaired because our, like I said, our androids are capable of doing it. No idle people yet, everyone's got something to do. Mostly organizing the storage, which is, you know, pretty damn useful in its own right. Recruiting prisoners, you know, all that sort of good stuff. Getting the turrets repaired, uh, numero uno. Oh, it's just so useful. Oh man, they're just so useful. Androids are just so great. Like, I mean, sure, they're a little bit fragile, but hey, you keep them behind cover, keep them behind, you know, keep them away from the worst of it, and you're kind of fine. Uh, we got a textiles trader, and <laughs> we smashed up some more of the roof. Good to do, good to do. Good job, good job. Um, is that all of the repair jobs done? Really? Oh my god. This is incredible. And now we're, now we're doing hauling jobs, we're refurbishing turrets. Lord. Okay, uh, let's go to Dr. Grimm, who's fully healed, to approach the textiles trader there. What happened to you, buddy? Crack with the Rico. Who the hell shot you? Oh, he must have just been walking around with that for a little while. Okay, textiles trader. Uh, what do we have to sell? Marine helmet? Not a chance in hell am I selling that. A compass and plate carrier might not be a bad idea. We should start manufacturing those, though. I think we can. So why don't we... We could buy some hyperweave. Ooh, that's gonna be... That'd be yummy. Um, yeah, I think it's time to switch back to, uh, working out what our next real defensive move is going to be, isn't it? Yeah. Because, like, we kind of need to work that out. Uh, because what's our, what's our next big move? Because we need to kind of move away from, hey, the mining's getting done, holy hell. That's been a minute. Why don't you hold both of these, please? Oh, okay, no. Just, oh, it's a siege. Hey, and you're over there. What do you guys think the odds are that we could lead these dudes into these mechs? Are they going to cross the river? Oh, holy shit, we can totally do it. Okay, everybody, get inside. Just stay away from the roofs just in case anything caves in. Leviathan, come here. Leviathan, Leviathan, come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Okay, what are we fighting here? Incendiary launcher, machine guns, a few bits, a few bobs. Okay, nothing we can't handle with the turrets. What I really want here is you're going to pull up to this point. Just get behind that. Okay, there they are. I want you to shoot these mechs. Okay, no, you, you missed. Okay, good, good, good try, good try. Let's get you on this side of the wall. Are they going to shoot at you? No, they're not. Okay, shoot at this. Okay, okay, okay. Now pull up, pull up, pull up. Okay, we are being shot at. Let's see if we can drag that Scyther, because this guy's hella fast. Let's see if we can drag that Scyther and all his buds over to these dudes. Okay, we did get shot in the leg there, so we need to be careful. Come on, Scyther, aggro them. Aggro if the Scyther fights them, we got this. Okay, now we need to get out of their sight range. Shoot at the Scyther. Yes, they're shooting at the Scyther. Yes, okay, hit the Scyther. That's the next step. Actually hit it. Oh, come on, come on, you've got range. Oh, no, it wandered back. Shite. All right, all right. Looks like we're going to have to go out there and force. Uh, oh, actually, no, no, maybe we don't. Leviathan, uh, you just go get your leg patched up, buddy. Come rest there. Uh, you're all free to go, except Dr. Grimm. Come here. you got nothing left to lose, buddy. Your, uh, your wife's dead. Your life's over. No wife, no life. Am I right? That's the, that's the Bollywood proverb. Okay, come over here. Let's go, let's go. Okay, we're going to shoot that centipede. We're going to piss them off and we're going to drag them into these things. 
because I need to make sure these guys can't shell us. Because that's really going to put a dampener on my day. Uh, not just because it's raining. Okay, come here. You don't have to shoot the, the tra thing anymore, just the centipedes. Oh god, the first shell's off. It's gone wide though, looks like it's going to hit the river. Yeah, okay, we're fine. Okay, pull back. It is an incendiary launcher, my friend. You need to back the hell off. Oh shit, okay, it's the rain, so it should... Oh, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He got... Yep, yep, yep. Move, 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 move. Shit, 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 shit. Okay, this isn't a good idea. Oh, he just, they just winged us with that damn incendiary launcher. Okay, pull back, pull back, pull back. Pull back. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Um, Spartan, see, you're quick. <laughs> Let's just go down the list. Uh, go ahead and take this off. Come here. Come here. You get inside. Okay, Spartan, see. Your turn. Now, you should actually just return because you are on that region. That is not going wide. Shit! Oh! 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 Terry Crusade. <gasps> we can't get to that. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, panic mode, activate, deconstruct that. You immediately get over there. You're gonna have to get at that fire. Okay, let's try this the other way. So yeah, you need to run down through enemy, enemy fire. He's got decent cover, so he should be okay. I mean, he's got decent armor, rather. So he should be okay to do it. Now, you turn around, pull back up. Where did that go through? Oh shit, in his mechanite storage. Okay, that's actually pretty fatal if he gets hit there again, so. Pull back up. Actually, maybe just shoot Alice. Okay, the centipede's coming. Just need to trigger them to come down slightly. Okay, and the mechanoid shooting at you, so pull back. Just, just, just back off, just back off. Just tank get back inside, please. Back off, just back off. Uh, I'm going to assign everybody to the fallout zone so they, they, they don't come into the base. Or they don't leave the base, rather. Okay, this is not the way I wanted to be doing this because now I'm just going to fight the mechs, dammit. Oh god, put out the fires. Yeah, because now I'm just fighting the damn mechs. Oh, hold on, the centipedes are doing it! Yes! It worked! Ah, it worked! We dragged them in! Hell yes! Yes! There we go, we got it, we got it, we did it. Played our enemies against each other, like the pawns they are. Oh, excellent, let's watch the carnage, okay. We're fine, we're fine. Fire's out, yeah, we're fine. Oh man, that's so great. Put that back. Okay, let's just watch this play out. Oh, this is, this is satisfaction, boys and girls. Oh, this is, this is a good feeling. Come on. Whoa, that mini, he's got a minigun. Hey, we can mount that. Oh, lovely. Oh, look at that spray, though. Holy shit, that's an area of effect weapon. Oh, yes. Take them out. And we got another piece of artillery. Got some more shells. Oh, it's just, everything's, I mean, we could have actually got into a shelling war with them, but they can just get resupplied. And we don't really get shells. Um, I am, yeah, yeah, anyway. Let's just uh, keep watching this. I'll talk about future plans later. One centipede is down. Nice. I wonder if this one will actually be able to take them out. The rain is going to make it kind of difficult for the incendiary launcher to be very effective. I mean, these things can absorb such an insane amount of damage. Like, they're just so overpowered on combat extended, it's not even funny. Okay, are you guys going to come in now? Because you should. Yeah, they are. Excellent. Gustang, have you been healed? Yeah, okay, you're fine. Spartan, see you got your wounds patched, Leviathan's been patched. Okay, get up. Get to work. We got shit to haul in. Uh, in fact, actually, let's do a double unforbid. Just make sure everything's accessible. Uh, we're gonna need some more mass graves, that much I can tell you. Stick these all around. Hey, I'm pretty sure I said unforbid everything. Uh, con hold control to include buildings. Hold shift to institute skeletons. There we go. Okay. Oh, I guess someone must have collapsed en route. What were you even shooting at there? Oh, a nice sniper rifle there. Okay, doors unforbidden. There we go. And you are free, my children. Go play. Alright, we're going to want to go ahead and claim these structures and get them reinstalled. Let's do another 
one over there and this one right over here brilliance okay and i think artillery can actually target world tiles can't they yeah you like sort of shell stuff enough you can sort of soften it a bit before you go and attack it it's pretty cool if you ask me uh spartan sea outside the forbidden area are we still in toxic fallout ah oh, we are okay so Leviathan, you are unrestricted everyone with this is basically unrestricted yeah three of our there we go our three boys Okay, hauling steel mortar, hauling steel artillery. Excellent. Where is... what are you doing? Ah, you're building the mass graves. Good. Good, good, good. Alright, uh, are you guys worth capturing? Three hours, 13. Careful shooter who's psychically dull. Holy shit, you're fantastic. Deep space miner who's kind, ascetic, and industrious. You're pretty great too. I'm actually going to quickly go ahead and uh, rustle these things up a little bit. Capture, capture, capture. I don't think that one's going to make it, but the other one might. Uh, we got a whole bunch of packaged survival meals too, which is uh, pretty lovely. Lots of stuff to haul nearby first, though. Ah, uh, he's dead. Yeah, Soren's out, but McGee might still be salvageable. Uh, let's go ahead and set him to paste and recruit. And there we go. Okay, guys, that has been episode 10. Um, we did a pretty good job there. I'm pretty happy with it. We need to take out this poison ship. I completely forgot about that. Uh, Leviathan, are you finished cutting down that tree? Not even close. Come here and beat the ship apart. Okay, hey, we got some bugs. <laughs> oh, man, we got a lad in the pug. Oh, that's so cute. Are you guys... No, uh, we could train them to release and then, like, send them off against stuff. We just haven't got enough food right now. So, um, pug lovers, look away. I'm sorry. Oh, you actually bonded to... Who? Oh, you were wanted to milk. Ah, oh, Seymour, I'm so sorry, buddy. Oh, man, that's hilarious. Um, okay. I'm gonna have to slaughter all these little puggies. I'm sorry, guys, we can't feed you. Okay, I wish I could just send them back off, but we just, we can't. And this toxic fallout clears up, like, before the first knife fall. Uh, I don't think that's really gonna be an option. And even then, we would, we would need so much food, it's just not really plausible. Yeah, anyway guys, I'm going to go ahead and shuffle guns around off camera because uh, we actually have a whole bunch of new ones that we can equip people with. Yeah, something a bit more suiting to their shooting skills. And uh, yeah, I will be seeing you all in the next one. Cheers.